Today, we're at a theme park to help solve your medical mysteries. If you're anxious about an ailment or curious about a condition, then the Ouchmobile is the place for you. That is incredible. Chris is preparing the clinic ready for his first patient. And Zahn is out in the park to answer your burning questions. At the clinic, Chris is open for business. Next patient, please. First in is nine-year-old Shoma for the question about some frightful findings on his feet. I've got a bunch of verrucas on my foot that won't go away. Well, what have you got to say about this, Chris? This sounds like a rare case of I've got a bunch of verrucas on my foot and they won't go away itis. And breathe. Now let's have a look. Yeah, one, two, three. A little cluster of them here. Now, that's the big daddy Veruca there. And more up here. That's an impressive nine Verucas on one foot. How do you get Verucas? So, Verucas are viruses, so you get them from walking around where other people with Verucas have walked. So, the virus has got quite a cool name. Do you want to know what it is? Yeah. It's called the human papilloma virus. Can you say that? The human papilloma virus. Nice one, Shoma. The virus causes your skin to grow in an uncontrollable way, leading to these lumps. But the good news is, they often go away on their own. The important thing if you have a Veruca is to not spread it too much to other people. So when you go swimming, you've got to wear a Veruca sock. When you play PE, you've got to keep your shoes on. And don't worry if you have Verucas, they'll probably soon disappear by themselves. Away from the clinic, Zand is out and about in the park. Let's see if there are any medical mysteries or maybe people have got some questions for me. Why does your heart beat fast on roller coasters? When you're frightened, your body releases a hormone called adrenaline and that makes your heart beat faster because your body thinks it might have to run away. If a tiger attacked you, you get a load of adrenaline and then your heart beat faster and you'd be able to run away faster. That's what your body's doing, it's preparing to run away, even though you're strapped into a roller coaster. Look what I did today. Oh no, that's terrible. What happened? Well, I was going on the ride and I hit my leg on the side of the ride. Oh, was it painful? Yeah. So what happens when you get a bruise is you break the blood vessels under your skin. You've actually, what you're seeing there is bleeding under the skin. So all that stuff that looks black is actually red blood and it will gradually change colour as it heals. Back at the Ouchmobile, there's a new case in the waiting room. Hi, Dr Chris. It's 10-year-old Mohammed, and he's got something incredible to show us. Mohammed, why have you come to the Ouchmobile today? I can fold my ear and stick it in this hole here. You fold your ear in what? Diagnose this, Chris. So this sounds like a very rare case of I can fold my ear up and stick it in this hole here, itis. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Wow! That is the most bendy ear I've ever seen. OK, I'm going to give it, give it a little wiggle and make it pop out. <laughs> well, let's see that again. How come I can do that with my ear? Well, inside your ear, you've got some very bendy stuff called cartilage, and it's the same stuff that's in your nose. So I don't think there's anything wrong with your cartilage. It's just nice and soft and you've got bendy ears. Job done for today. Clinic closed.